Today, we're going to sync to the beat. The canvas audio sync. Let's go up to my screen and take a look. I'm on the home screen. I'm going to go to discover new features and scroll across till I get to beat sync. Click on that. And we can try it with a sample video. And as you can see, you can skip manual editing and instantly match your video footage to your soundtrack using beat sync. And it does perfectly match your soundtrack to the audio footage. It makes some changes, so you may need to look at those. But it does let you make manual adjustments if you need to. And you can use it with your own music as well as the Canva library. Let's try it with Canva's sample video. First, I'm going to play Canva's video so you can see it. And you can see the time length of each of these frames, which will become more relevant later. Let me play the video. When I'm able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker But I'm just a singer Or busy and pretty Just making believe Now by clicking on this audio line here, I'll actually see the audio controls. And here you can see some of the beat markers already on here. What I'm going to do is now go to the top line and go to Beat Sync. And you can see it's already ticked to display beat markers. And all I have to do is just click this button and it will now sync it. And what you should notice is the change in the length of some of the frames. And you can see this one's gone to 1 1.9, this one to 1, 3.9. So they've changed quite considerably. But you can see there's this long gap at the beginning. Let's hear the difference now. Mm. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger I will and I'm able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer Or busy and pretty, just making believe We can try with another piece of music that I use quite often So I'm going to delete that one By clicking undo, I've returned all the frames to their original settings And the beat sync has been removed I'm now going to delete that audio and this probably won't be as good an audio, but we can try it. And this is one I use a lot. So I'm going to add this one and go to Beat Sync. That's telling me everything synced. And you can see it's got quite a different beat. And this has left the end screen on for nearly five seconds. Let's see how this sounds. There you are. It is so easy to sync your beat. I hope that helps and I'll catch up with you next week.